Catching the racket with your other hand when you follow through can be a good thing to do if you're working on building your forehand because it gets you doing a couple of the fundamental things we talked about in the forehand section. First, it'll make sure that you follow through all the way. If you're going to catch your racket over here, the racket has to go from contact all the way around to over here. So some players will stop short in their follow through. This will force you to continue your follow through all the way around. Second, it'll have you following through in the right way. Some players will hit and then their arm structure will break down. But if you catch the racket over here, you'll extend out in the direction you're hitting and then you'll turn your arm and the racket over like you're trying to check the time on a wristwatch so that you can catch it over on the other side of your body. Finally, it'll help you continue to rotate your upper body after contact and into the follow through. That said, you don't have to catch the racket with your other hand when you follow through. There are a lot of players out there that when they follow through, they'll fall through high, but their other arm will stay over here somewhere. They won't catch it with their other hand. So it's a preference thing, it's a style thing. And I'm one of those players. I'll hit, and a lot of times when I follow through up here, my other hand will be over here somewhere. And what that means is you can catch it, it can help you with some things, but you don't have to. Let's compare Oliver and Frank's follow through side by side. When Frank follows through, he brings the racket over his shoulder and he catches it with his other hand. But when Oliver follows through over here, he also brings it over his shoulder, but he does not catch it. So what that should tell you is that catching the racket when you follow through has a lot to do with personal preference. It's not necessary to catch it. There are some situations when you don't want to try to catch the racket with your other hand when you follow through. There's some situations where it's not appropriate. And these situations are typically when you follow through lower. You follow through below your shoulders, somewhere in between your waist and your shoulders. It's relatively easy to catch the racket when you follow through high. But the lower you get, the more awkward it becomes when you follow through to try and catch it with your other hand. So Typically, when you follow through, the lower the follow through is, the less likely you are, the less appropriate it is for you to try and catch the racket with your other hand. In this forehand, Oliver is going to follow through a little bit differently. He's going to follow through lower in between his shoulders and his waist. And you can see that here. This is called a windshield wiper forehand. So the racket's going to come up and then down. And at the completion of his follow through here, the racket again is below his shoulders. And this is one of those situations where it would not be appropriate to try and catch your racket. So we can compare this follow through with a picture of Andy Roddick following through and they, the, the positions look almost identical. His racket, Roddick's racket is in between his shoulders and his waist. And you'll see his back arm, he's not trying to catch the racket with his other hand. So again, Catching the racket with your other hand can be a good thing to do if you finish up over your shoulder. It'll get you doing a lot of the fundamentals you need to have a successful forehand. But trying to catch it all the time is not appropriate. There's some follow-throughs where it'll actually hurt if you try to catch the racket with your other hand.